Module Compatibility Checker. Check your list of modules. Version 10 of Foundry Virtual Tabletop is just around the corner. Hello, everybody. Today, I would like to present a new module I've been working on in preparation for the upcoming release of version 10 of Foundry Virtual Tabletop. This module is primed to help out with the mass migration of users towards a new version that will likely break lots and lots of modules. The way that this is meant to be used is a user on version 9 it will install this module and then be able to see which modules they have installed or even which ones they have active that are broken or that are ready for version 10 so that they can make a more informed decision about what they want to do. As everyone knows, Foundry does not require you to update. So if you find out that most of your modules are broken, you can hold off on updating and check back later. This module pulls data directly live from the official spreadsheet maintained by Foundry staff. So if a module is marked as not ready, then you can always come back and check later and it might be ready. Know that modules are maintained mostly by community developers doing this in their free time. So please do not get frustrated with them if you sit their module is not marked as compatible. And also know that I am not maintaining this data. So if there's an error, then you should report it to Anathema in Foundry staff on the Foundry Discord. All right, so I'm going to show you a little bit how this module is used and what features I have included. First of all, I'd love to give a huge shout out to Typhon.js, who is maintaining the Typhon runtime library that allows developers to include Svelte in their project in a really nice and streamlined way. This module benefits a lot from the work he's done over there and the contributions he's made to this module as well. All right, so as you can see, the list of your modules that you have installed will be present and they're color coded in the same way as the spreadsheet. At the bottom, we can see how many you have installed and how many are visible. And you see a percentage of how many are ready right here. Note that these values depend on the filters you've set above. For example, let's say I search for modules that start with the letter A. Now the percentage will change because, and the number that you have visible will change because you search for the letter A. This is the date that the spreadsheet was last updated, and this is a link to the spreadsheet that's source data for this project. Let's say I want to filter out these modules and only show the modules I have active. Currently, that's just a module compatibility checker. But if you have a certain other modules active, they will be the only ones that are displayed at this point. We're just pressing this button again, we'll return back to the previous view. Let's say I want to know some more details. For example, this module right here is screen, but what does that mean? Well, if I hover over it, it shows me a tooltip, which is a bit helpful. But if I want to see more information, I can press the little eye icon and it will show me specifically what the status mark on the spreadsheet, the compatible version, and the module's ID, and of course, if it's a module or a system. I can sort by any of these headers. For example, I want to sort by their compatible version. I can press this button right here, and I have the modules with the lowest compatible version at the top, and the modules with the com highest compatible version at the top. All right, now I'm going to show you a little bit more up the top, right over here, where we have a pie chart. This pie chart is also interactive. So let's say I want to hide all the modules that are unknown status. I only want the modules that we have certainty about what their status is. I press the white section, which is equivalent to unknown status. And I have, sorry, that's just, that's going to filter out only modules that are unknown status. If I want to exclude unknown status, I can deselect in that case, now I have unknown status excluded and I have all of these ones active. If I want to exclude packages that do not function, I can press the red one. Now they're excluded. Now I have just these two sections visible because there are no modules that fall into the other sections currently from my list. If you have different modules installed, obviously the list will be different. This button is a helpful button to show just the ones that are known as compatible. So that will put a preset filter that has just the green ones, which work without issue, or the blue ones where the no testing is necessary. The reset filters button will, of course, reset all the filters at the top here. That's pretty much it. There's one last thing that I'd like to show you, and that is if you are trying to find out the compatibility for version 11, let's say, and that's in a year from now, we have a different spreadsheet that will be available in this list. If you go and click on the version 9 
one, let's say you're still on version eight and you want to know which ones are compatible with version nine, that's also an option. You can switch spreadsheets. It will load the other spreadsheet and it will give you data for the previous version. For now, we're wanting to know about version 10, so I have that selected by default. All right, let's just we'll go over quickly how I got to the screen and a little bit of a cool feature that I added to the module management window. All right, so we have the Foundry sidebar over here, and I go to Manage Modules. I added these color coding, the same ones you see in the module screen itself. Background colors are used to indicate the status of the module in the latest core version. So let's say you have version 9 selected over the other spreadsheet. It will still show version 10 here because it's just the latest core version. And this is not really meant to be uh, super useful, but it's just a nice little feature um, to see quickly. So yeah, that's how you access the module. You press on the module compatibility checker button right here. So if you're trying to find out how you open it up, that's where you go. And yeah, it will just load quickly. And there we go. And it will continue, can keep with the same filters you had when you closed it. That's some of the magic with the um, Typhon runtime library there. So if I just close this right here and I open it up again, you can see that I'm still scrolled down to the spot I was before. And if I reload the page, it will still stay. So that's about it. I'm really excited to release this. I've been working on this for a long time and it's a great, it's a great module and I'm really looking forward to version 10. And I thought that this would be a nice way of helping out the community and helping everyone prepare and decide how they want to migrate to the next version. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. I hope you enjoy the module.